Welcome, welcome all to the Zeus Dad's Unanimated Retro Game Channel. I am your host Zeus and it is shit game time once again. Yes, it's Friday, great times. Unless you're working the weekend, which I feel very sorry for you. Anyway, what have we got this time? Oh, super grand. How many bloody versions have I got to do, uh, you know, before you leave me alone? This is a setup. I've done the Amstrad version. A little while back I did the Spectrum version. And now Catechis, YouTuber Catechis, has double shit game time paid me. Twice the price. Just obviously feels guilty for my anguish. He wants to do he wants me to go through the Commodore 16 version. Um some of you are twisted, are they? You really like to see me go in anguish, don't you? But I reckon this was a setup. I was looking at some of the comments of the previous Super Grand saying, let's get Zeus to do this first. And I was dreading it, and here we go. But hey, he's paid me double, so it's a pill I can swallow. What can I give you about the information? Well, it was published by Tynesoft. And first of all, we all know, well, especially if you've grown up as a teen or a young kid in Britain in the 80s, you know what Super Grand was. It's this bloody granny with, uh, well, I don't know if it was superpowers, was it? I can't remember because I didn't like it. The only thing I really like, I remember about it was the, uh, was the title tune. Uh, but let's have a look. Anyway, it was, yes, it came out in 1985. And it was sporting a £9.95 price tag. You heard me right. £9.95 for a Commodore 16 game. Absolutely terrible. And it was uh, poo-grammed by Ian Davison. That's about it. So yes, time soft. Um, Okay, very limited sound effects, no music. Let's get on with it. Oh, here we go again. Round, what is it, three, the third version. Start, right. Okay, now here you are, bottom left-hand corner. And, yes, it seems to me that, um, well, the play area is a lot bigger, but this thing that you're trying to shoot is so bloody random... And I keep flashing, I don't know why. The first, see look, gotcha. Uh, the first time I play, or well, the first life I hit, I flash, and I don't know why. Sometimes the second as well. So I don't know what that is. Poor programming, I don't know. See, look at that, how can you possibly get ready for that? He's hovering above me, I can't even get out. Look at that, that's game over. Oh, where? that's £9.95. <laughs> <laughs> you probably saved all year. Well, if you're sad enough, you should have learned by now. Do not buy fucking games that are movie or TV tie-ins. It's one, one a very rare occasion now and then. Out of about 50, you'll get a good game. <clears throat> the Trapdoor was a perfect example on the ZX Spectrum. Phenomenal game, phenomenal program. But... <clears throat> A lot of these movie tie-in and TV program games are actually shit. I mean, I, I think it was the four guy, the four guy. I, I did that on a shit game, Tom Nicola 64 Vision. Right, let's start again. Um, Neighbours, EastEnders, that got 99 shits. <clears throat> Move then. Right. So, yeah, I don't know where he flashes. I must be missing something. There's one. And now this next one will come up and just shoot me like that. you got no chance. No chance. No chance. And yeah, that's what you got. See? No, look at that. Game over. <laughs> £9.95. Oh, my God. How many kids' hearts were broken when they got this for a Christmas present in their stocking? <laughs> what a birthday gift. You go into school the, next, the day before your birthday. And you know you're going to get a, a new Spectrum game, or or Commodore game, or whatever, it, uh, Amstrad, you know, and yeah, <laughs> you may as well know, so what do you get? And you walk in, well would you, would you go to school and show them this? 
This is the same year Dynamite Dan was coded, and look at the look at that, and look how phenomenal that game was. An amazing piece of coding. 1985 on the ZX Spectrum, that was Dynamite Dan. I mean, yeah, it's a Commodore 16 game, but come on, seriously. Um, see, it's just hovering. I can't, I can't get out. I can't move. Now, go, go. Oh, come on. Go on, that must have got you. Yeah. And now, oh, what a shot. Oh, got four of them. Five of them. Come on, let me get to the next level. I deserve it. I've hit five without you hitting me once. Six. Seven. Eight. Wow, that's got to be a record. How many, how many of... <laughs> oh, I hit eight. Nine. How many do you have to do to get past this level? Oh, he's not even shooting now. That's not fair. That's bollocks. I shot so many there and I still didn't get onto level two. Come on, I so deserved that. How many of these bastard, stupid, fucking doppelganger grannies do you have to kill to get onto the next level? Uh, gotcha. Uh, gotcha. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I shot eight of them. That's not fair. No. Oh, I went straight into that one. I don't know how many of these you got to shoot. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, man. The only way you could play this for a long time is if it was for charity. In other words, the more runs you do, the more goes you have, the more money that you, you get in the collection pot. I see any way I could justify playing this. And I keep flashing that, and I'm obviously missing something, or is that just the way it's coded? Ugh. Oh, I'm on that side now. I didn't see that. I thought it was on the bloody... Look, he's hovering. I can't even get out. Oh, this is ridiculous. <sighs> Ten pound. Fucking hell. Is there a worse again? Well, I played Commando on the C16. And I played Green Beret on the C16, and that was goddamn awful. Look at the size of that gr Oh, look at that! It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, I didn't even know this version existed. <laughs> Fuck off! Oh. oh my god. Some of these software publishers are absolute C words, aren't they? For, you know, how they could justify such pricing. And let's face it, this game isn't aimed at an adult, is it? Come on, it's a kid. It's aimed at adults opening their wallets, that's what it is, for their kids. <sighs> but, yeah. Oh, look at that, great. It now. See, sometimes it releases you, sometimes it doesn't. And it tends to release you when you're um, you're going to get shot. Look at this guy, he's shooting like crazy. And I can only get one bullet out of bloody time. How's that fair? He's going wham, 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 wham with his bullets. Like that. And I can't even get one out, two out at a time. Now I'm on the left-hand side. And he's waiting for me. Up. Move. Oh, uh, go away. Oh, I see. Maybe the, it's a shooting a bit of... I sh ran straight into that. It's amazing how sometimes you just... You just glide into a bullet. It hypnotises you into dying.
I shot you. Oh, this is fucking annoying. Oh, I thought the Amstrad version was laughable. How you yeah. One bullet at a time, that's all you get. Yeah, exactly. Oh, got me again. Oh, I don't care now. Oh, this is... How many more times do I have to play this to prove that it's absolute cat wank? Hmm. Well, it went straight through him. Or did it? Maybe it didn't. I don't know how many... Is there another level on this version? Because, I mean, I shot eight in a row, didn't I? And I didn't get anywhere. How are you avoiding my bullets, you little bastard? Oi! Oh, fuck off, that too! <laughs> no, man. Ugh. God. No music, basic sound effects. Garbage. Even for a Commodore 16 game. No excuse. Um, I'd go back and play K Fighter. Is it K Fighter? I can't remember what the name of that. I'm just trying to remember what it is. I'm sure it was K K Fighter. Where you're in this cave and you have to get from one end to the other. So Cave Summit. It's on my channel on the Commodore 16. That's a good game. Collision detection, a bit questionable, but it's a good game. Uh, this is just. <laughs> How many more versions are there? There's a Commodore 64 version. We've done the Amstrad, done the Spectrum, this is Commodore 16, there can't be more versions than that. I mean, oh man, talk about shovel shitware. That's awful. £10, all but five pence in 1985. You know how much £10 was in 1985 in today's money? You must be at least two and a half times what it, what it was back then. It must be 25 odd quid for that. Oh, 25 quid. Why do you get 25 quid out of your wallet, out of your pocket? And then handing it over and you get this in return. That is complete license fee. That that's what that is, because the game itself is no more than a 199. I mean that's even to scrape it. It should be a, a 99 bargain bin fucking game. It would be even a PD game. In fact, that insults a PD game. That's awful. Now whether this guy was told to quickly hurry up a version on this system, I, I don't know. I can't remember if if Ian Davison was in charge of the other versions. I'll have to go back and have a look, but even so, um, uh, Commodore 16, the weakest uh, computer on my on my channel that I that I cover because it, it doesn't have 16k memory, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> so it's it's not you know it's going to be up there, no doubt about it, in a shitometer rating. But uh, I just can't. You know, I said before, 8-bit games you're not going to get 100%. 99 is pretty much the tops because it. You got Amiga and ST, 16-bit version uh, cons uh, computers, which are more powerful, and if they only score one percent more, well, it doesn't. The ratings won't ring true, so that's why 8 bits will never get 100 percent. So the 100 percent, the 100 shitometer, would be 99 really on the 8 bits. But this is a six 16k game, absolutely crap. Um, I couldn't imagine. I mean, there's one side of me you think that uh, pities all those kids that were ended up with this, whether daddy or mummy thought, oh, oh, that's a good, what a great kids program, let's get them the computer game. Poor kid didn't have a say in it. Or the kid did have a say in it, was got absolutely suckered um, by believing this would be a great fucking game. In which case, um, again, I feel sorry for you, but all those ones that didn't do their revision back then and just thought, oh, the program's good, so we're going to have a good game then um, shame on you, basically. You deserve this shit that came out on your birthday present or your Christmas stocking. What am I going to give it? Well, cat kiss, what am I going to give this, mate? Uh, you wanted it. You double paid me on the shit game time for this game alone because you knew I was going to suffer. Keep fucking giving me super grands, you bastards. Um, it's hard. It fires only one bullet at a time. No, fuck it. I'm not going to hang around. And the price tag alone, so... 
I'm going to give that 96 shits on the shitometer for Super Grand. Nothing redeeming, redeeming about this at all. Nothing whatsoever. Um, 16K or not, don't care. Absolutely crap. So there you go. That's what I'm going to give it. All those shits on the shitometer for Super Grand on the Commodore 16. Oh, Super Grand, will I ever get you out of my fucking head? No, you won't, Zeus. Not while the bloody viewers keep paying you to do fucking shit game times for this game. So, you know, deal with it. <laughs> well, thank you, Kakis. I really appreciated that one. Um, right, that's it for me, this edition of Shit Game Time. Please let me know about your, uh, your thoughts about this game in the comments below. Always glad to read them. And I reply as soon as I can. Um, yes, that's it until next week. So if you want to place a shit game time request, then you should know what to do by now. I've still got a few in the list. So i uh, prepare for a, you know, a few weeks of waiting while I juggle requests around and try and make it fair for everybody. So they don't have to wait too long. Video will pop up in the top left. Just go to that and please ignore the bit about the Amiga again, where I say you've got to wait a long time. You don't now. I used to have to send away for the ADFs. Well, I don't now. So, if you want an Amiga game, you know that's you're going to be, that's going to be much quicker than what it was when I first put up that request video. So, ignore the instructions on the Amiga as far as having to wait a long time. Three other shit game times will pop up as well for you to uh, take a look at. Oh, right. God, I'm going to go play a good game now. And get this out of my bloody, get this out of my taste buds. Until next week. See you all then, Zeus. Out of shitsville.